the future. The internet is going to be in our contact lens. And when the internet is in our contact lens, you blink and you will go online. Today, we are doing virtual unboxing of Google's smart contact lens. Let's check that out. Google's smart contact lens is not a moonshot but a sunshot project from Google. I think you will agree with me by the end of this video. Google has been filing a lot of patent applications for various aspects of these lens. And we at Patent Yogi have been tracking all these patents. Recently, Google filed 9 patent applications for Google Lens in just one week. This basically means that Google is working really really hard on this product. So we should hear some major updates on this product from Google in the Google I.O. In various patent applications, Google has disclosed how these lenses are fabricated, how they work, how they communicate with your smartphone, how they can be charged, how they can be trained for a new user, how they help you to measure and monitor various physiological parameters and also alleviate certain health conditions. So we decided to do the virtual unboxing of the product now as we have the sufficient details. The box will include a contact lens case, product literature, some lens solution and probably a USB drive with some product information. The smart contact lens from Google will look like any other normal contact lens. Now let's first look at the internal structure of the lens. The lens is defined by two exterior layers formed using flexible plastics. The lens further includes transparent flexible electrodes formed using carbon nanotubes, metal nanowires or conductive polymers. An LC layer is then deposited between the two electrodes and is actuated by voltages applied across these electrodes. The LC layer basically helps change focal length of the lens if and when required. A ring substrate layer forms electrical connections with connection tabs of the two electrodes. The ring substrate also includes a battery to power various components. The ring substrate further includes a controller circuit to control various electronic components such as sensors, electrodes and the battery. The contact lens is so close to the retina that the electronic components do not hinder vision. Further, all electronic components can be made using transparent materials. One key technological challenge with these lenses is related to charging them. And Google has developed some very cool techniques to charge them continuously. Photodiodes are disposed over the outer surface of the contact lens. These photodiodes can harvest optical signals emitted from a smartphone and generate power from the harvested optical signals. The user may also look at other light sources like a tube light. Similarly, radio frequency harvesting can also be used to charge the lens. Until now, it is not very clear what makes these lenses smart. Well, these lenses can communicate with your smartphone. And this is essentially what makes them smart. Photodiodes employed for charging the lens can also be used to receive optical communication from the smartphone. Further, reflectors or LEDs placed over the lens are employed to send optical communication back to the smartphone. All optical communication is carried using light invisible to the human eye such as infrared rays. Similarly, RF communication may also be used by placing RF antennas on the lens. Google has disclosed many health-related applications for these lenses. 
the lens carry various types of sensors to measure concentration of certain chemicals in the tears on the eye. This information is then conveyed via optical communication to the smartphone. A smartphone app from Google, let's say My Lens app, receives this information and displays it in a user-readable format. User may click on Health tab to monitor various physiological parameters. For example, users can check their glucose levels. This will help people suffering from diabetes to monitor sugar levels without pricking themselves. The lens can also monitor temperature of the body, urea level and blood alcohol content. So it might help combat drunk driving. The user may click on the pollution tab on the app to monitor pollutants in the vicinity. The app shows the levels of various pollutants like grass or tree pollen, dust mite excretions and other chemical and microbiological hazards. This can help in preventing the spread of infectious diseases or even alert the user to seek urgent medical attention before the condition worsens. With increasing pollution in cities across the world, this application could be very useful. While shopping, the user may click on the barcode reader tab on the app. This feature will help people read the barcodes on various products. The user may also click on the authentication tab to authenticate payments, similar to biometric transactions. So instead of a fingerprint, it can scan the eye topography and verify transactions in a blink. So these lens can be used to track and monitor various health parameters. But can it be used to alleviate certain health conditions? Well, Google has found some awesome use of these lens. Human eye can adjust its focal distance to maintain focus on objects of varying distance. This is accomplished by controlled contractions of the ciliary muscle. But as an individual ages, the effectiveness of the ciliary muscle degrades. Presbyopia is a progressive, age-related loss of focusing strength of the eye, which results in increased blur at near distances. Presbyopia affects nearly 1.7 billion people worldwide today. Google's smart contact lenses can help restore the autofocus capability of the eye. When a user suffering from presbyopia starts using these lenses for the first time, the lenses undergo a training session to adjust to the specific features of the user's eye. The My Lens app displays a user interface that prompts the user to perform certain viewing actions such as look up, look down, look left and look right. The user is then prompted to look at objects at different distances from the user. For example, a book at a distance D1, a computer at a distance D2, a door at a distance D3, and a view of a horizon distance D4 from the user. When the user performs the viewing actions, corresponding signals from the sensors are recorded to identify a reference level for the user. After this training session is complete, the lens automatically tracks the user's gaze and provides the required autofocus. The gaze direction is detected based on the amount and position of eyelid covering the photodiodes. Here, the user is looking straight, so there is no overlap of the photodiodes and the eyelids. Then the user changes his gaze and certain portion of the photodiodes overlap with the eyelids. Based upon the amount and location of eyelid overlap of the photodiodes, the controller determines that the cornea is looking down and inwards towards the nose. Then it can be assumed that the user is focusing on the near field, for example while reading. Based on gaze tracking, the optical power of the central portion of the lens is modified in real time. The optical power is varied by manipulating the shape of the lens. Alternatively, the optical power is varied by manipulating the refractive index of the central portion of the lens using an electric field. So far, 
we have not seen any parent application from Google on a display within the contact lens. But we expect that Google will include some sort of display within the lens itself. Researchers at University of Washington have already developed lens display with up to 8 pixel resolution. Such displays can provide simple, useful user interfaces that users can view without looking at the smartphone. We'll love to do actual unboxing of the product when it comes out. In the comments below, please let us know how many of you will like to try this product whenever it is available in the market. Until next time, keep innovating and keep parenting.